when the snow covers the tops of the mountains and the lakes are frozen. And the sky turns orange, then pink. It is time. There's nothing more calming and rejuvenating than a trip to the mountains. It's quiet, cold, and the sky is painted in all kinds of colors, especially during sunset. The wind was blowing in our faces, but we we're moving forward. It was hard to even put the jacket on. Although my hands were truly frozen and I could barely move my face, I wanted to laugh. We were truly blessed with a view like this, in one of the most stunning winter sunsets. Some places in Polish mountains are made for ice swimming. Shelters have a pool or lake near it, and it's a wonderful way to enjoy cold water plunging with a view. My journey with ice swimming began a few years ago. I remember it clearly. It was a cold winter night and the stars were shining brightly. I went to the lake with my sister and we jumped inside the water. We had no idea what we were doing. We knew no one who was practicing cold water immersion. So we just went. Looking back at it, it was not a smart move on our side. At the beginning, we made many mistakes, but we learned from them. And now we can share this story and help others do it safely. I started ice swimming mainly because of its health benefits and here are some of the science-based tools regarding cold water immersion. When you go inside the cold water, adrenaline and dopamine are released. That drastically increases your levels of attention. Your mental state shifts and that helps with staying calm in stressful situations. In other words, you become more resilient to stress. Your metabolism increases, so you burn calories really quickly. It converts white fat cells to brown fat cells and that makes you more resilient to cold in general. Ice swimming works like a cup of warm, strong espresso in the morning. It wakes you up and motivates you. It's important to steal the breath, really focus on here and now. Even though it sounds ridiculous, it's the truth. And put your hands like this. I don't recommend putting them inside the water. Cold water immersion also reduces inflammation. It's best to do cold water immersion early in the day since the release of adrenaline and dopamine might not allow you to fall asleep. Now, how to actually do it step by step. 
I recommend starting in autumn or when the water is still not that cold. You can even start with taking cold showers, essentially as cold as you can safely handle. It is essential to be warm up before cold water immersion. I either use sauna or I do some sort of exercise like cross-country skiing, ice skating or running. The first contact with cold water is always the most unpleasant. In this stage, it's important to control your breathing. Take long and deep breaths all the time. Any movement inside the water will make you feel even colder. It's because the still water that surrounds your body over time gets warmed up from your body heat. If you can only immerse your legs, it's all good. It's very extreme to go all the way inside, so give yourself some patience. It is important to establish a routine based on science. It is recommended to do 11 minutes per week of cold water immersion divided into three to four sessions. I put on warm clothes and sat next to the bonfire to slowly get in dark. It usually takes me a while to feel warm after ice swimming. I do feel, however, full of energy. I'm always fascinated with the things our body can do when we calm the racing mind and control the breathing. That's why, when people ask me what my favorite season is, I respond without hesitation. A chilly winter with snow on the ground and sunsets that paint the sky. <laughs>